Welcome to the AJI HoloLens Unboxing. I'm John, and we just got this in the mail. I've got my knife here, and we're going to unbox the HoloLens. Wait, or before you open it, what is the HoloLens? Because we have a new audience. and True. And for most of our years, we've been talking to developers, but now we talk to a lot of marketers and business decision makers. And so... For us, this is like anticipation, but for others, they might not know what it is. So what is the HoloLens? Well, the HoloLens is Microsoft's introduction into the augmented reality or mixed reality environments. And basically the difference between a Microsoft HoloLens and something like an Oculus Rift is the fact that you can interact with the world around you. You have a viewport that allows you to see things Say, for example, this board here, we could put a hologram right on here of a sprint board or anything right here. Okay. We could make something, a 3D model of something appear on the table itself, and we could look at that, maybe an architectural model, anything like that. But the difference between the two is that you can interact with the real world. Okay, so Oculus Rift, I can't see through it. It's right. screens next to my eyes. HoloLens is a, a blend of screens and the real world. Right. So even if you wanted to put a huge um, TV on the wall in the HoloLens and watch Netflix, you could. So you can interact. And the nice thing about the HoloLens is, is that it scans any room that you're in. And if you put something in here, like the model on the table or whatever, you walk out of a room and do something else, you walk back into the room and do something, it will remember where you are. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there's lots of uses for this, not just geeky playing games no, there's, and playing the Xbox, right? Microsoft has a, a different vision for this. Right. Some of the things that we've seen so far that Microsoft has shown in partnering with other people are things like um, at Case Western Reserve um, University at their medical school, they are actually loading in MRIs of existing patients in 3D so that st medical students can see the brain and then like, say, for example, somebody had a tumor or an aneurysm, they could see exactly what happened and, and scroll right into that in real time. And everybody can actually share if they're all wearing the device, they can all see it together. Okay. Things like that. So, but the, cro the cost of entry is pretty high today, right? And it's still dev, dev kit kind of getting started, but our customers will be able to use us to help build apps, build mobile, absolutely integrated, you know, experiences that are both with the physical device, with the HoloLens, with the browser. Absolutely. And even though the cost of entry is, is somewhat high at around $3,000, the, uh, the ability to utilize the real world around you, and also the fact that it also has algorithms built in, if we want to get kind of geeky about it, and speakers so that you can do what's called spatial audio. Okay. So for example, another um, quick example that somebody showed was real-time air traffic control, and you could hear in the point in space oh. the people talking on the planes. So the planes are coming. Yeah. You can, As you turn away, it sounds a little different. You move around. And so it also allows you to position things in space as well. Ooh. So there's a lot of different business applications that you can use for this thing. Yeah. So you ready? Awesome. Let's open it. All right. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. And we've been waiting for. Da, da, da. Oh, come on, Jeff, you can help me. All right, flip it. I think there we flip it go. Over. Yeah, there we go. Let's try that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, so. The first thing you see is a clicker. Yes. All right, so this is all we got. Why don't we show it a little, the clicker. Higher detail there. Right. Great. And then we have the hollow lens itself. Pull this box out of the way. Yeah. As you can see, there is a really a bottom-up view with the um, the nose piece and the and the visor and everything. So yeah, great. Whatever, John. Okay, I just show want to the see clicker. It. I'll open that. Okay, I'll show the clicker. The clicker or the clicker. Clicker. All right. And so what this will allow you to do is interact like like a mouse in the 3D space with the HoloLens. Oh, cool. So that's what so you have there. Remote for your HoloLens. Right, and so it'll give you a little bit of feedback and stuff as well. You know, pull the lid off? Sure, I'd love to. There we go. There we go. And comes in a big... So if you're on the plane, you have the ability <laughs> now to just take it with you. My, is that a really big Bose headset? No, this is my Microsoft HoloLens. Okay. 
So let's unzip this. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Fancy packaging. Fancy packaging. Dun, dun. All right. All right. So that's it, huh? Yeah. Looks like, I mean, the build is very much like the band. Right. Uh, so you can tell that they weren't really getting into the consumer space with the band per se, right. more than they were, let's test our use of rubber and different plastics. Sure. And so as you can see here, if you notice, and I'll kind of bring it into the camera a little bit, you see that there are forward facing cameras on here. So it's constantly scanning your environment. So as, as you walk t with the HoloLens, it will actually put a mesh around things for developers so that you can actually build whatever's in the, in the room into, as, into part of the model that you're working with. So whatever you're dealing with there. So inside the rest of the case, we've got a starter kit. Um, we've got a nose piece for those nerds that are gonna put their fingers right in front of their HoloLens to push it back up on their face. Yep. Um, you got the extra extension for larger heads, a USB cord and a USB charger. Charger, yep. Plus a nice little cleaning kit. Right, because um, everybody needs to have a clean hollow lens. Yeah. So let's uh, hit pause on this and, and start up and then talk about our first experiences. Yeah. Now, is it only supposed to be like from here to here? Mm -hmm. It's not supposed to be the full your holographic. Your holographic frame is Next. only really in, right in front of you. It's like a heads-up display. Next. Voice has now joined your organization in Azure AD. Cool. So it hooks it right up to Azure AD. Put the start menu up so you can see it right away. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get this on here. And it's even it's even functional for ponytails. So is it's it, can you see it? Ponytails, yeah, I can see it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cinch it up just a bit. Tell me if that's okay. Yeah, that's feels good. tight. Yeah. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, this is now look, weird. Now look around. Now if you want the if look over here. Can you see the browser? Yeah. Oh my god. So there's a browser right here. What do you think? This is so strange. So so. What's your, so when you say strange, is it because it's just appearing out of nowhere? Is that why? Yeah. Here, turn around and talk to the, talk to the microphone. Tell them, what, tell them what you think. Well, I've never seen anything like bloom. this. So you can, yeah, bloom like, did it make it go away? Yeah. And now you can make it come back. <laughs> Do the same thing. Oh my gosh. I feel magical. Okay. Would you like to take a quick video? Oh gosh. Do you see the, do you see the start screen? I, I think I'm looking at the start screen. Yeah, you see like it says Microsoft Edge. And learn and, gestures right. and stuff. Down below, do you see where it says video? Yes. Just highlight that with your gaze until it's it's highlighted. Do you see it? Highlight it. It should be a little dot. And then just, yeah, click it. I think I clicked it. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Just right out here like this and then go. Yeah. Go all the way to your thumb. All the way down to your thumb. Oh, there we go. Is it videoing? Now turn around and look at the browser. Oh, there we go. Okay. Whoa. See the browser? Say hi, everybody. This is Krista and my video. Hello, this is Krista and my video. 
trying on my hollow lens for the first time. And when you want it to stop, go ahead and hit a bloom again. Okay. It's up, bloom, and should be off. Yeah. This is so cool. There you go. So you're scrolling on the page. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it was pretty neat to be able to interact with the virtual world and the physical world at the same time. Because I can still see you guys, but then I have my little thing going on too. Now up here, I believe up here, up here along the top, somewhere in the browser, So Jeff, if you um, if you want, you can turn around and look at the browser. Oh, okay, cool. Can you see it? Yep. So you could actually run a scrum board right from here with Visual Studio Online on your browser and put it on the there it is. Put it right here if you want. Or just in the air. Or on the plane. It's a little, it's a little different. We're gonna have to play with the gestures and see. Cool. All right. Well, that's awesome. So from the future, this is AJI with our Hololens unboxing. See you soon with uh, an inside view from what you see from the Hololens. Great. Bye. See. You.